Hello friend, in today's video, we will learn very interesting and amazing project. This video is really different than my usual video because in my regular video, I explain you each and every step of programming, I explain you each and every step of hardware. But in this video, I will not going to explain you hardware and programming, but I will explain you how to combine the two different projects to create a one project. So that in future, if you want to add any sensor in your existing project, you can easily add that sensor and you can easily build a project by yourself. So the reason behind this to create this video is that when when I uh, when I did the face mask detection project on Raspberry Pi, I have created this video. You can see on the screen face mask detection uh, face mask detection project on Raspberry Pi hardware. So in this video, I only detect the face mask is present or not by using Raspberry Pi hardware by using TensorFlow library. But uh, later uh, this video uh, this video gets viral and many student watch this video and they are facing uh, they they are facing some problem to install the TensorFlow library in the Raspberry Pi so they cannot able to build their project in Raspberry Pi. So uh, with their request I have created my own uh, I have designed another video the video is this one face mask detection Raspberry Pi but in this video I have used the machine learning algorithm that is developed by uh, by us only it is not by using the TensorFlow. But again with this video some complaint given by the student like uh, this video having some like uh, less accuracy than the first video uh, than the this video. So tensor, with TensorFlow they are uh, some uh, student able to add TensorFlow in the Raspberry Pi by watching my video by following each and every step and with this they can able to uh, install the TensorFlow in Raspberry Pi and they can uh, they feel that this TensorFlow having much accuracy than machine learning algorithm uh, this uh, this project so many students request me sir please add the hardware part that is motor part temperature sensor part buzzer part led part in the tensorflow project so can they build uh, they can develop project uh, like this one but with the tensorflow so with that request i develop that project with with the tensorflow and the hardware part into this project so uh, this is the uh, so current video is upgraded version of this video so that you can uh, you can see on the screen we have only camera we don't have the sensor in this video but current video i have added the sensor part i have added the buzzer part led part and the temperature part and the motor part also with the tensor flow and then uh, i created this video okay so what you will learn from this video so we uh, what we will going to do we will take the with tensor flow project and without tensor flow project and from the without tensor flow project we will uh, extract the uh, sensor part uh, programming hardware part programming and add that part in the TensorFlow in the real time so that you can understand how I am uh, adding uh, other part of project into my another part so can so can in future let's say if you want to add the MLX sensor also in your project you can add easily so that uh, this uh, this explanation I will tell you in this video so this video is very important for each and every each and every student which require TensorFlow uh, project with hardware which uh, student who wants to learn the new uh, programming uh, like knowledge so that uh, they can watch this video okay so before start this video i would like to tell you what is the flow of this video so regularly in the first uh, first chapter uh, we, uh, i will show you what is the flow of this project that is how project work and then we will combine the program so before start this project i would like to tell you some important con uh, important part uh, to run the TensorFlow in your raspberry pi you require any raspberry pi you can take the raspberry pi 3 also raspberry pi 4 also but a very important condition is that you require noob 3.0.0 os if you don't have the noob 3.0.0 os please go to my please uh, go to my whatsapp channel group so group uh, link given in the description and from that group you can ask anyone where they have downloaded the noob 3.0.0 you will get many links uh, from the many students we are trying to help each other by buying that group so if you want to uh, if you want to add in this group you can just click on this whatsapp group channel link invitation link given in the description and from that you can add and you can download noobs away from there or you search on the internet search on the google where you will find the noobs os 3.0.0 strongly recommend you go with the noobs os and with the noobs OS you can easily uh, install a tensorflow by watching my first video uh, this video face mark detection raspberry pi video and we, uh, from that video you can easily install the tensorflow also, also in your raspberry pi so this is the basic uh, condition or basic criteria you, if you want to go with the tensorflow so yes, uh, so uh, we will start the project. So at the starting of project, when project start to work, then you can see the welcome message here and then the project name also printed on the LCD, then it will show the please wear the mask. So we will wait for the library initialization right now. So you can see welcome message there, then face mask direction message there. 
then all the our hardware turns off because it is initial condition and then please wear the mask now it is the project start working and then you can say please wear the mask so it is asking me please wear the mask you can see on the lcd please wear the mask and you can see currently i haven't wear the mask so that it is showing that and the LED also turn on and buzzer also turn on now i am going to wear the mask that uh, in that case the green LED will turn on and here it will uh, it will show mask wear and then it will show the temperature and then gate will be open and gate will be closed So there is one temperature sensor here once you give the some temperature value more than 40 degrees celsius by placing some hot object here then it will give uh, message like high temperature and it will not turn on the gate again it will it will turn on the light uh, so this is the complete idea behind this project now we will see the programming part of this project so before start the next part i request you please subscribe my channel currently you can see i have uploaded more video on the many video on raspberry pi arduino then python programming then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career so if you want to learn something from me it is free and you have to just click on this subscribe button and all the video it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many things from me i upload a mostly video on raspberry pi mostly video on iot then arduino there are different types of project i have explained and each project having the programming part so please subscribe my channel please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video so now we will see how to combine two different project to develop your own project so you can see on the screen i have two different project so detect mask video it is my first project uh, code which is belong to this video face mask detection using raspberry pi hardware and the second is final mask detection with hardware belong to this project face mask detection on raspberry pi with some hardware so uh, i am combining these two video uh, these two program into one file so i will open this program first so first i open detect mass video program so open with notepad or you can open with python so we can go with the python so i will open python ideally then after that go to the file and go to the open so whatever the existing project i will open now so first i open first project file so this one then click on open button now again i want to open the second project so again go to the file and open same folder second folder name and open and this is the second file so you can see so you can see on screen we have two file one with face mask having some uh, uh, one with the face mask which is don't have some uh, hardware and with uh, second is having face mask with some hardware part so first part is we have to identify this hardware part as in as many video i told you if we want to use the hardware then we require this gpio library so we will take uh, this one library copy from uh, this library here copy here and paste into here so because in the tensorflow project this is a tensorflow project uh, program so in this program we require the gpio so that i have copy this gpio next is required gpio board because once we use the gpio library then we require the gpio board syntax and gpio set warning syntax so i have copied this one and the paste into here at the starting after declaration of the all the library now the next part is uh, lcd pin so you can see uh, whatever the hardware pin we have used we have to use we have to define that pin so go copy all the pin till this line so copy there paste here so you can see i have copy all the hardware pins and paste here so all the pin number define here then the hardware part uh, is output or input pin all the pin define here now the next part is uh, if there is lcd then in this code there should be the lcd uh, program also so search for the lcd program so we can see lcd start code and this all the lcd code so i will copy from the starting as told in many video uh, all the lcd uh, program all the lcd function you have to copy uh, so this is the lcd program i have copy till here copy here and again paste here another code so you can see i have copy and pasted all the lcd code now the next part is temporary sensor so if there is temporary sensor in my program then i definitely need the temporary sensor code so again copy the temporary sensor code 
from here and uh, copy till temporary sensor end copy and paste again after the lcd so temporary sensor also completed now the next part is uh, we have to copy now the next part is we have to copy the welcome message on the screen so that we copy this one till uh, this line so this is the basic program so we can see what we have did we just printed the welcome message on the screen and turn off all the gpr pins now you can see at the end in this code there is mask detected or mask not detected so here you can see label mask detector so what happened what we have to do after mask detected so delete this line from here delete this line from here so here we can give the additional else f part and in this else f part we can see here not detected so there should be the not detected condition and no mass here so let's understand first what happened with the mass detected so you can see there is a this label so in already my uh, face mask detection code you can see here i already told if mask detected so what should be happen so copy this line all the line and paste here so how to paste the line it is very important to understand that uh, that is very important so you can see after if there should be one tab you should pay press and you can see when i give this line after the if part then one shot one tab should be pressed then all the line should be aligned with that one so you can see all the line i am aligning with that one this is known as indentation error because if there is a space mistake after the if then it will show the indent error so we don't want that error so that i am copying that line so you can see once mask detected we have to get open but after the mask detected we have to check the temperature also so how to check the temperature this should be already in the video so you can see uh, this should be already in the program so you can see there is a temperature sensor code so copy this code from here and paste here so how to paste copy and paste then align this after the if one tab so align in a one line so you can see i am aligning all the line in the one space why i am not explaining the each and every line because already explained in my this video so in my this video so if you want to understand the code you can go that video understand the code so you can see once the temperature we got temperature here degree celsius so here we have to check if temperature that is this temperature value is greater than let's say 90 degree then if temperature value let's say less than 90 degrees then then you have to turn on the gate so how to turn on the gate we have to pass the, all these signals so but if there is if part then there should be again the one space tab so again i am giving the one space tab here for all the line so whatever the logic i have to build whatever logic i have to execute after the part there should be the one space from that starting line so one tap space one tap space one tap space and one tap space now you can see this is the if part of greater than 90 but i have to do uh, what happen if the temperature is greater than 90 so there should be the else part so else part you can see this else should be aligned with this if you can see this if and else is aligned with one line and then again i have to copy this one if the temperature you can see if the temperature is less than 33 and if the temperature is greater than high body temperature so copy all this line from here and paste it here after the if paste so you can see after the else part first you have to do first line should be in line with the else then one test space then align all the line with the one step base
so you can see first label mass detected one tap space we have to read the temperature then if part temperature get less than 90 again one tap space this if part should be aligned with else one tap space whatever the high boil temperature value so if the mass is not detected so let's say if the no mass you can see no mass is there so copy this code again from the here paste is here after else if but first line should be aligned with if else if part then one tap space and then align that line all line with one step space Okay, now you can see project part is completed, code also completed easily by easily copy and pasting my previous video code into new video code. So in this way, you can also add your new temperature sensor or if you want to MLX sensor, you can add MLX sensor at that part, copy and paste that code here. If you first check ML sensor without face mask, just single ML sensor and then you can add that ML sensor temperature code here instead of this one and replace this part so whatever the code you want to add you can add easily with this video so i hope you understand how to add and combine two different types of video into one project and you do develop by your own project so uh, th so this is the idea behind this code uh, behind this video now the next part is if you want to do the hardware connection of this uh, temporary sensor with uh, tensorflow library but hardware connection of this same project already explained in my this video face mask detection raspberry pi video same hardware same each and every hardware is same hardware i have used so if you want to go with the hardware connection explanation go with that one connect your hardware and then run your program then your project will be start working so all the video link i will give in the description and watch it carefully and definitely your pro project will be run So now we will see how to run this project. So first you have to download this uh, uh, project code from my Google Drive link. The code name is this one. The folder name is this one. Face mask detection tensorflow hardware. So once you download this folder, you can, you have to go inside this folder and then you have to open this uh, program file detect mask video. So double click on this file. So once you double click on this file, so uh, let's say if you are using the Raspberry Pi camera, so let's say if you are using the USB camera that I am using same one, then you can use here zero and if you use the Raspberry Pi camera, then you can put one here. So one is nothing but the internal source, zero is nothing but the external source, you can change with respect to your camera here, zero or one. So uh, then after that, you can run this project by, click, uh, by click on this run button. So once you click on this run button, it will take some time to load the library. So right now it is giving some warning me red, uh, in red color. So don't worry about this warning. It will take five minutes to load. And once the five minutes load, it, uh, it will show mass detected or mass not detected based on your image. So wait for some minute. So you can see once the program start, you can see this message starting video stream. So it is start, it is start opening the camera. And in this way, your program start working. So this is the idea how to run the project.